Hey guys, we are playing Strong Grandmaster from Russia. I don't remember who it is, but I know we've played them before. I'm just going to play this boring old line. We're in a good three game winning streak, but obviously it's going to be a tough opponent. Remove that for some reason. Uh, I'm just going to play the h3 line. I could go b4 also. I had some ideas in that line. They're not so good. I'm just going to go h3. I just like to stop bishop g4. This is about equal though. Like f6 is actually fine here for black. Somehow surprising. He, feel, uh, he knows what he's doing. I'm going to play this move even though it's not really a move. I just made it up. Um, How bad can it really be? If I go d4, you know what, I'm just going to develop my stupid knight. Okay, now if I go d4, it looks better, because he can't go e4. And my bishop's now free to come back to e2. I'm going to take the bishop. I understand it. Maybe it's nothing special. Probably. Knight e4, maybe. Oh, I want... I want the... Uh, hold on. Yeah, okay, knight c4. I'm just checking to make sure I can't take with a pawn, but I imagine it's bad. Alright, three is the two bishops. How big of a deal is that? It's usually a good thing. but We have some attacking ideas, I guess. Not anymore. Not anymore. Um, I should move my queen. Let's go here. Work d1 ideas. Two bishops, not the end of the world here. God, I forget who this guy is, but somebody pretty good. You know, knight d5 to b6 is not so horrible. Oh, queen e5. Hmm. I'm actually going to do this. Because, oh... What is he doing? Alright. I don't even know what he's up to here. What is his big plan? I kind of want to just take and go... Hold on, let's make sure I can't crush him immediately. It's like queen d e4. I don't think so, just bishop f5. Alright. This looks bad for him. No, sorry man. Sorry Infernal, but I don't like your position. I'm going to just take it, man. Well, he's just sacking b7. He wants to go um, f3, I guess. To queen e4. g6 is so risky. Let's start with a nice, uh, aggressive move here. <coughs> Queen b7, f3, still good for him. You know what? Let's see, queen e4, what's he do actually? Like queen h5 or something? Right, I'm just going to develop my rook. Uh, you know, we got we got to pay attention to our clock too. I don't, I don't know if that was good. Alright, bishop c2, he's going to go b No, he can't go b5, I take on a6. Oh, I didn't see that. His queen's almost trapped. So lucky he's not mated. I'm going for mate, I think. Well, rook e5, queen g3. Queen g3, rook h5. That's a pathetic move. Alright, I'm just doing it though. I'm just going here. Isn't this queen trap, by the way? I think he just blundered. Whoa, oh, buddy. I don't know what he's up to. <sighs> I 
What d1 I take with the bishop. Queen f2 I just take and win endgame. I'm gonna win. I'm amazing. I would be 2500 if it wasn't for that stupid disconnect. He resigns. Boom! I just want to see who this guy is. Pankotrav Patel. It's funny, I keep winning games fast too. That's pretty fast. Uh, so what the heck happened there? Well, I think there was some over-evaluation placed on the two bishops in his part. I'm still, I'm still mad about losing those rating points. What is my rating now? 2476. I lost about 20 points in the disconnect, so I'd be about 2495. Um, oh, I'm having a good streak, 6.5 out of 7. Well, let's take a look at that game. Such an annoying game. Look at this crap. Disconnect. Sorry. Um, so I play h3 just to stop bishop g4. It's, it's a line. Uh, now it's like I'm threatening to take on e5. And when they do this, you feel like, you know, somehow intuitively it looks good for white, but the two bishops and this bishop a6 are actually really annoying. So I didn't take. I played this move. I don't know. It's not a move, I don't think, but I just. Seemed okay at the time. He retreated the bishop, which means this has to be a good trade for me. Uh, you know, one thing you could do is like this, but then he doesn't have the a6 square for his bishop. Oh, somehow, oh, I can't do that because he takes my pawn. Let's see what a who needing evaluation says. Queen e2, reasonable position. So this is about even. This should not be the best move. Maybe two. Me hates. Yeah, I thought d4 was nice, but yeah, it turns out you can just take it. It says it's about even. But yeah, like he has the two bishops, but I have my knight has good squares, so I thought it was like maybe okay for me. Queen f3, it likes. Rook a to d1. I didn't do rook a to d1. I just I just didn't want to deal with queen e5 moves. I know I can go g3, but I didn't want to make a weakness around my kings at f4 and stuff. That move should be fine too. Now, yeah, f4 is just bad. Uh, I wanted to do that last move, but queen e5 would have been a double attack, sort of. Alright, let's just work to d1. Um, this is good, too. It always thinks I'm just better. King f1 is like safety. I, was serious. I wanted to go rook e5, but I, I didn't think. I didn't know how good this was. I mean, obviously the end game is good for me, like bishop e4, like it says, but I wanted to crush him, so I figured it stops queen g3, and this move just loses. Queen's trapped. He has to do this, but totally lost position. Cool! Alright, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.